You guys really impressed me with your LEGO setups on the last episode, so I've decided to make this an ongoing series called LEGO Wars. So moving forward, any special edition of Setup Wars like LEGO Wars will be done separately. So we got Sandcastle Edition coming up soon, Arts and Crafts Edition, 3D Model Edition, <laughs> Cardboard Edition, and finally, Minecraft Edition, which I'm officially announcing in this video. If you want to participate, <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. I am slowly losing my mind, as you guys can probably tell. What other possible edition of Setup Wars can we do here on the channel? Maybe you guys can give me some creative answers in the comment section down below. But yeah, if you guys want to participate for Minecraft Edition, just create a full-size setup in the game, uh, preferably with RTX on, but it's okay if you don't have an RTX card. And then take a bunch of pictures of your setup in different angles, kind of like the regular Setup Wars submission video, which I'll link below. And then send all your pictures to LegoWars818 uh, at gmail.com. Don't forget the 818. A lot of people just send it to LegoWars and then the submission never gets accepted. So LegoWars818 at gmail.com. That's also the same email to send in your Lego setups as well. And as always, a person with the best setup will take home $100 in cash. So. Obviously, we're doing this for fun. We're not taking this seriously. So if you guys want to participate for either Minecraft or Lego Wars, let me know by sending in your submission. But anyways, with that said, sit back and relax because it's time for Lego Wars. <laughs> Looking to score some deals on tech? Well, head on over to dealsource.tech. We spend hours every day to find the best tech deals and share them on the website so it's easier to find. We even list how much money you'd be saving. Check it out for yourself. So right off the bat, we are starting with a black and red setup from Alex. And the first thing I noticed is how wonky the desk is. It doesn't seem to be perfectly straight. I feel like it could have added some more support in the middle or connected the pieces better. I don't know, I'm not a professional Lego builder. But it appears that he's using the IKEA Lindman tabletop with a 27 inch 240 hertz monitor from LG that's sitting on a custom monitor riser. Very nice. It looks like we have some speakers as well sandwiching the monitor and for peripherals, I like that Alex went the extra mile to add a bit of color for both the keyboard and mouse. Very nice. But the coolest part of this setup has to be the custom PC. Take a look at the details inside that giant case of his. We can clearly see he's running two RTX 2080 Ti's with NVLink and a total of eight fans. We got four intake and four exhaust. What a beast of a PC. He even made a black and red chair to match the setup. Well done. And also, can we appreciate the fact that he added a cable rack underneath the desk to hold up the wires? Such an awesome, simple black and red setup to start off the show. Thank you, Alex, for sharing this with us. Next up is Siren. Oh my God. You know, I'm loving this setup simply because of the art. We got GPU leaking Ed on the top monitor. Wise choice on the wallpaper, by the way. And then we got my, my wife smacking me in the head with a keyboard from that one video, if you guys remember. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth monitor on the left is used to monitor Discord. I'm hoping you're part of the Discord server. If you are, extra points for that. Um, so the setup itself is pretty simple. It's, it's a bit cluttered for my taste. I feel like you could have made the desk a little bigger since you add extra space against the wall. Um, that way the right monitor isn't hanging off the desk, but it is pretty organized for the most part. I do like the extra effort you put on the camera up top and the custom decal for your keyboard. I feel like this setup really stands out from the others because it looks more complete. You know, he went the extra mile to build walls around his setup to replicate his bedroom and he even added posters of some of his favorite games on the wall. I'm impressed. Well done. Coming all the way from Pewter City is Brock and what appears to be a full-size Lego setup judging by the amount of pieces that he used. Just the effort alone for the setup definitely deserves a feature in this video. Of course, using more Lego pieces means you have more flexibility on adding more details, and I can say that I'm super impressed with the keyboard and mouse. I feel like there was a missed opportunity to add some different colors on there to make it seem like it had custom keycaps, and one of the monitor legs is crooked, so minus one point for that. The PC, on the other hand, looks interesting. Definitely more detail in here compared to everything else. I can tell there are four fans in the PC, but everything else 
kind of looks out of place. The GPU should be more towards the bottom and the CPU fan needs to be more towards the left. You know, I don't mean to roast your Lego setup. This is not the episode for that, but I'm judging everyone fairly despite you being only 12 years old. I mean, you get extra points for being the first person to do a full-size model, so there's that to be proud of. Thank you, Brock, for entering. Moving right along, we have Anthony's dual setup. I gotta start off and say that I like how we split them in different areas. We got his PC gaming setup on one and a sim setup on the other. It looks like we got dual 27 inch monitors for the main setup that he hooked up on the desk using actual monitor mounts that he built from Legos. And if you look closely, it looks like they are actually functional. You can tilt the monitor up and down using that mount. Pretty awesome. Everything else on the desk looks pretty straightforward. I mean, we got some speakers, we got the K70 keyboard and Logitech mouse. Although it's lacking any type of creativity and color, I do appreciate that everything is connected perfectly with no bending anywhere like we saw from the first setup. I especially like the boom arm he created for his Blue Yeti microphone and bonus points for the cable management in the back of those monitors. I love seeing that. Now the PC powering the setup looks pretty weird. It doesn't really look like the Corsair 1000D as he stated in the notes, but at least there's some effort in this. And then we have his sim setup on the right that actually looks more complete with a racing seat, a wheel, and even a cockpit was added. Nice. This next setup from Barnabas. Barnabas? Barn Barnabas? So this next setup actually takes a more creative approach with the desk. I do like the use of the white Legos that adds a bit of a modern touch to it and even kept the surface very minimal with a single 34 inch ultra wide monitor, some speakers and the keyboard and mouse. This is actually the first setup to include any type of plant and decoration. So extra points to Barnabas for that. And I apologize if I'm butchering the crap out of your name. I also like that wall shelf he built to hold the Stormtrooper helmets and the lightsaber up top, not to mention the full-size arcade next to it. It definitely adds a level of personalization to this setup. I think Barnabas is pretty confident in winning this episode since he's holding $200 bills in his hand. But either way, good luck and thank you for sharing this with us. Speaking of personalization, holy damn, take a look at Emerson's setup. This guy built an entire gaming den with the tech source colors and I'm loving this already. Looks like we have a sick triple monitor corner set up on one side with three 27 inch Alienware monitors that he mounted against the wall and even built a little side table to hold up his pre-built PC. You know you could have just lied and said it was a custom PC, right? I wouldn't have even known. Like this is Lego Wars. You could literally put any type of PC or part you want and the fact that you decided to go with a cyber power pre-built is, confu is confusing to me. Oh, it appears he actually has a second PC as well. A pre-built Silver Draft Demon workstation on the right. It looks like the, uh, the workstation PC is for the second productivity setup, while the uh, Cyber Power PC is for the main setup. Okay, that makes more sense. What I like most about this setup, other than the awesome color scheme, is the fact that he took extra time to complete the rest of the gaming room and he decorated it as well. You know, we got some Stormtrooper and Batman helmets on the top shelf to add a bit of personalization. And we even have some chairs in front of his 40 inch TV that he uses for console gaming and watching videos. One of the more cooler gaming dens I've seen on Lego Wars. Thank you, Emerson, for sharing it with us. All right, up next is, wow, Hans and Theo who are apparently siblings that work together to create this epic gaming room. And I can already tell the amount of effort and time that got put into this creation. I mean, just look at the attention to detail, you guys. They even built a living room behind the setup. We got a table with some chairs that they can sit and watch movies, drink some beer or Kool-Aid since they're underage. Obviously they can't drink beer. And then there's a fireplace to set the mood. That is insane. My mouth is dry just by looking at this setup. I need to rehydrate real quick. All right, I gotta relax a little bit. Let's take a look at the gaming room that they built. So the main setup is rocking triple monitors that are mounted on a stand with a custom keyboard and a Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. I'm actually glad you added an extended mouse pad on there as well. Most other setups don't include one, which isn't realistic, right? I mean, everyone uses a mouse pad for their mouse. So it's nice to see that you didn't take any shortcuts here. I love the positioning of the microphone and boom arm and the wall shelves that you built to hold up the speakers and extra points for those headphone hangers holding up both Astro A50s. A50s, really? You could have chosen any pair of headsets in the world and you go with A50s. I'll never understand the hype over Astros, honestly. The custom PC powering the setup is probably the most detailed PC I have seen so far on LEGO Wars. Just look at the details inside the case. We have the 10900K in here, 
with 64 gigs of RAM and the RTX 2080 Ti. Oh, sorry, two 2080 Ti's with NVLink. And I even think it's water-cooled because there are some tubes running from each of the parts into what appears to be radiators. That is actually insane. I feel like they spent the same amount of effort in the rest of the room as well. I mean, every single inch of this gaming den has been filled up. Not only that, but they did a really good job with the decorating. You know, we got orange pillows and a black couch for that contrast and some wall art to finish it off. They even used some paper cutouts and colored them to replicate the nano leaf panels. That is what I'm talking about, you guys. This is what I want to see more of on the show. Not just Lego pieces being connected together, but you know, more creative stuff like this because this is what's going to separate the best Lego setups from the rest. I also just noticed this now, but the orange dragon in the paintings above is split into three parts. Like, where do you get all this creativity from, honestly? Are you sure your parents didn't help you? To think that a 13 and 11 year old built this is very impressive. Like, I can't even connect two Lego pieces together without failing. So, bravo, honestly. If you guys don't end up finding something you're really good at by the time you graduate high school, just know you have a really good career in interior designing. Well done. All right, I think we have time for one more setup. Let's take a look at Sam. Sam, what do you got? I'm forever cursed with that damn picture, I swear. Why did I even lick that damn GPU? Anyway, so it looks like we have our very first minimalistic hybrid Lego and Technic setup. It looks like Sam used some Technic parts to create the desk and the legs. And while I can appreciate the minimalism of the setup, I, I feel like it's just a bit too minimal. I cannot but feel like you built this in a prison cell somewhere. You know, it would have been nice to see some more art on the walls other than that majestic poster of me leaking the Titan. You know, some other posters would have been cool to see. But with that said, I think you actually have the first setup to include a functional chair. It looks like you can tilt it. So that is something to be proud of. You know, if I'm being honest, the chair looks like a cross between an ATV and a Herman Miller chair, actually. You got those, uh, you got those off-road wheels on there. But pretty sweet setup overall. Thank you, Sam, for sharing this with us. All right, so that is all I can fit in this episode. As always, make sure you guys click on the link below and cast your vote on who you think had the best Lego setup because that person will take home $100 in cash. But more importantly, if you think you could do better, then consider submitting your Lego or Minecraft setup to legowars818 at gmail.com. Just make sure to copy the notes in the description section before you submit. Uh, if you guys enjoy the Lego Wars and want to see more of these, consider slapping the crap out of the like button so I can continue the series. Thank you guys so much for watching and consider subscribing if you enjoy these types of videos. I love you beautiful, beautiful cheeks and I'll see you very soon in the next one.